Almighty Father, we thank you because we are here to lay at your feet today. It's by your grace we are coming together in a day like this to lay at your feet to be fed with the manna from heaven that can make us to know you more and to walk along this way without any problem, without turning back. Father, for this, thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, today, we are waiting. Father, speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. As individual, Father, speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray, both the speakers and the hearers, we are all students in the school of Holy Spirit. So, Father, speak to all of us even today in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the word you want to hear now build our faith more in Christ and in you and your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you because you have answered our prayer. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last week, we started on the fifth part of the message, Beware of Murmuring. And the event we've seen so far showed that the Israelites only left Egypt physically. Their hearts were there. That is why all through the wilderness with little problem they are making references to what they were eating and what they thought they enjoyed. In Egypt. Even though they saw the mighty works of God in Egypt and in crossing the Red Sea, they were still murmuring against God. But like the people who go are at the Lord on that, ni ojo na won si be si si be ati gogo bi o se mu won la okunkun paja ni yan gbele won si nkun si be as soon as the cross the red sea they murmured ni kete ti won la okunkun pa koja ton ni yan gbele won to nkun and last week we look at three incidences of Israel complaint on be testy in the wilderness ni ose ti o koja ni agbeye wo awon isele meta to sele nipa when they were beset with test, they always complain. At the wilderness of Saul, they complained of bitter water that they could not take at all. And when they complained, Moses called unto God. God told him, He told him to take a tree, put it in that bitter water. Then the water became sweet water. But in one con, Moses lost his wife, Olua, Olua, she bad sorrow, be, your money go fi con, O do ti o koro inon, kete to she betan, O me non si don, fun wan la ti mon. After that, they got refidim. Len ye le, in one ton de, refidim mon. This time around, there is no water at all, talk less of be bitter. Ne, bi ba yi, koti e wa si, O me rara de, be le, wipe yo ti e wa koro. There was no water, for them to drink. They also murmured against Moses and God. Here, when Moses went to God and cried out to him, God told him to strike the rock with his rod. The water came out, they took the water. When Paul, the apostle, was speaking on this incident, 
He said in First Corinthians chapter ten, verse four. Nigba ti Paul da posole nsoro ni pa isele ye ni we Corinthians kini ori te we se kering owi pe. He says and did all drink the same spiritual drink for the drunk or that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. The rock, as I said last week, was following them everywhere they were. Anywhere they settled, they will see the rock. Now Paul is not to tell us that that rock was Jesus Christ. Don't tell him one law as a Oh, Jesus Christ. Then the third instance of their memory because of test is at the desert of sin. They have had experience at the wilderness of Saul and at Rephidim. That God was able to satisfy their test. That without memory, God was able to satisfy their test. Yet the moment they never learn from experience. They never trusted in God. So the moment against God and Moses. When Moses cried unto the Lord, he was told to speak to the Lord, to the Lord that was following them. This time he was not to strike, he was to speak to the Lord. Because they had provoked Moses and he was having inner uneasiness, he did not hear the instruction of God clearly. He taught the previous time he struck the rock. So maybe as he started to speak and strike. So he now struck the rock instead of speaking to the rock. We need to understand this fast. When we are confronted with certain lack or certain problem, and God guided us as to how to solve that problem. Later, we may face the same. Problem. It doesn't matter that the same thing that God asked us to do the previous time, He will say, We should do it again. We are two months, we pay or do to see a long one, to see a long one, and that is why if you lack something, you lack something, and God told you, Go. I mean that person or send somebody to you to help you. It doesn't mean when next you lack the same thing, the same man or the same woman will be used by God to meet that need. Yes, we need to learn to trust ourselves. Attend to our problems based on circumstances and based on his own divine knowledge and wisdom. Your role is to go into his presence with a clear mind and speak to him, Daddy, this is my need, Father, 
meet my need. Ti eni lati lo si waju Olorun pelu okan ti o mo ki se okan ti o ti pe yele yele Oluwa isoro mi re bayi ni mi pade. Even though you may be said the tears. But le je pe o le ma se o mi je. Do allow that tears to make your heart to be confused. Ma se gba o mi je yi laye lati je ki okan re ko wa poruru. Listen very well to what God will say unto you. Thirty is the da da ko gbo ilana ti Olorun o so fun o. So that he will tell you the way he want to meet that need as at that time. Nitori na ki o le so fun o ni akoko na ni ona ti yo gba yanju re. God is always progressive. Olorun ma ojo Olorun tesi waju. The superiority to move along with God all the time. A ni lo lati gbara I pray God will help us to walk with God by faith in Jesus' name. When Moses struck the rock, instead of speaking to the rock, that made God to be provoked and he couldn't make the promised land. Nigba ti mo se na apata dipo ko soro se apata elewa mo ki inu bi Olorun eyi lo mu ko so pe mo se ko ni le de ile ileri also before he struck the rock ba kan na ko to di pe o na apata because he was so annoyed nitori pe inu ti bi gan when he came back from presence of god nigba ti mo pada de lati waju Olorun he told the people so fun awon yi can we bring water out of the shop for you. She are too late. Mo mi da de lati na pata e wa fon yi. Can we? She are too late. Wa de the one that a be giving them water from the rock. She a one ni eni ti o mo mi da de ni na pata wa fon yi bi. And that is why we ministers we have to be careful. They cannot say I'm in charge. I'm in charge. You are not in charge. Only God is in charge. Ah, okay. Do you tell why you're on your lawn? See, I finish last week. Sarah, I come and massage you. Be, I want to want you. Be, I want you. I'm not bored. You too. All lawn on the corner. All lawn so. They could have said, "Can God bring water out of this rock for you?" On that week, be, she, she all lawn on the moon. Oh, me, that the last night, but I want for you. Can we? She only. Is it? Is is every statement? Oh, yeah. All right, you go. God doesn't share his glory with any man. Whatever you become today is by the grace of God. Whatever you do for anybody is by the grace of God. Don't be boastful. Don't be too proud. Don't procrastinate. Let it be between you. And God, I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. He also called the people of God, you stiff neck people. We are not supposed to abuse any child of God. It is wrong. To abuse a child of God. Only God has the right to abuse any of his children. But we, we are just steward, looking over the children of God, not to abuse them or to speak bad against them. Olorun ni kan ni o ni eto lati soro si ohun awon omo re awa akan je oluso oluso ni kan ni ki alalabojuto to a o ni eto lati le ma bu won omo olorun I pray we not say to our word or to our tongue in Jesus name Mo gbadura pe ni pa eru enu wa ti ero okan wa a o ni se si olorun ni oruko Jesu ami Now we are looking at the timely lessons for Christians from Israel's experience. Nimba yi a unwo a unwo e ko e iti ni a jo a unwo mo Israeli ati riri unwo to ko wa. Timely lesson for us. A unwo e ko to ko wa. Apart from the one I've been analyzing as you are coming from the beginning of this lesson to this hour. Le yi yato si a unwo e ko e ti ati muda de ni no a unwo e ti ati ko ni no a unwo e ko e lati bere ti ti de wakati. We have three lessons. To learn at this junction. Ani amwe kome talati koni pele yi. The first one. Akoko re. God is always with us 
to supply our need. Uh, Allah, 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 Allah. God is always with us. Allah, Allah. To supply our need. Anywhere we are. If we are in the uttermost part of the world. If we are in the lion's den like Daniel. If we are in the very furnace like Cedric. Mr. Labed Nigo. If we are in the wilderness like the Israelites. If, if we are in and nobody is there with us. God is always with us. And he can never open his eyes to see us lucky what we deserve. The problem is Christians are always be pro, eh, be shadow with their what not their need. But God is only ready to satisfy your need and not a world. When you lack any need, God is with you to supply that need at the right time. Let's read Psalm 46. Psalm 46, verse 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. A very present help in trouble. A present supplier in need. When we lack any need, supply. Our needs. What do we do then? The first two. They are for will not we fear, though the heart be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Ni tori na ni awaki yo beru bi ati le shi aye ni de ti a si shi awon o kin la ni po lo sinu okun that is to say eyi ni wi pe no matter what is happening on to ko ma sele no matter the maybe happiness in the world in our neighborhood in our nation on to ko ma sele ni agbego wa ni agbole wa ni orilede yi wa when the shaking ko da ni gba ti mi titi wa when the tremor ni gba ti yaya wa when the specialist like COVID-19. You should not fear. You should not be moved. You should trust God. If you meet my need now. You help me now. You see him present with you. It's not far from you. Anywhere you are. Is there with you. You should just call out Remember Eger. Wilderness. She was tasty. The son was tasty. The bottle of water given to her by Eber had been exhausted. She was crying at a point. She turned her back. To the to Ismail. Okay, you see Ismail. I don't want to see him die. Go for the It was then go open her eyes to see water, you know, pool of water near to her. Ningba no ni olorun wa si ni oju lati le ri omi abi omi ti o wa ni be. She took from the water and gave to Ismail. Oh, mommy, yi o si fun omo re mu. Water was there before she was crying. But because she had not really looked up to God, she couldn't see the water. So, brethren, anywhere you are, God is there. Anything you lack, trust Him. He will supply it. Don't fear. Don't 
Don't be dismayed. We may not help you. I want you to let me First trust God. Was that Becky Lolo? In first five. Yes, I can run. So for this first five. Oh, in that video, can can you hear? I don't want to say can. God is the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right alley. Olorun nbe ni arin re aki yo si arin re aki yo si ni di olorun yo ran lowo ni kutukutu wuro god is in you olorun nbe nu re god is in your house olorun nbe nle god is your business olorun nbe bi se re go to the church here olorun nbe ninu jo ni what will you do bi lo se baby says tell you pe you will thou help us yo ran wa lowo right any a ni kutukutu wuro God never delays it. Allah on ki ya ki na lo wore pe. Except when his own child is not having faith. Aya fi ni ba ti awon omo re ba ku na igbagbo. Like the Israelites. Ese be awon omo Israeli. The journey of 40 days became the journey of 40 years. Irin ajo ogun ojo pere o di ogoji odun fun won. The captivity of 40 years became for Years. It's not the fault of God. It's your own fault. When there is delay in meeting your need, pass. You are not at the right point with God. Ki Olorun ko to da Olorun ti o nfe a je pe boyo o si ni bi ti Olorun fe ko wa or maybe you are not hearing his voice a bi boya o te ti lati gbo ohun re or perhaps you are trusting your capability a bi boya wo n gbe tele pa ara re take note of this e ti e se yi when you think with your capability and your money you need your need nigba ti wo ba ti ro pe pelu epo are ati owo re o le bayi ni ara re pade you be waiting and be saying olorun wa ma adura ma re ti after you have spent everything you have eyin gba ti o ba ti na n gbogbo to ni to and the the, the palace did there be isoro na ba ti wa wa ni be you have exhausted all you have o ti lo gbogbo n to ni then you know that god is only world that can meet your need and not your own resources nigba na lo wa ri daju pe olorun leni to le ba ni re pade ki se awon ti o ni do god can use your money to meet your need but like the olorun le lo wo owo re lati lo ni to ni this way god is be acknowledged that he is a supplier nigba e nigba e yi ni nigba ti olorun ba mo ipe iwo fun ara re do olorun mo pe o ni o n pe se fun ani re as you are spending the money he be replenish it As you are spending money, you be on the sales. So it will not be exhausted. If you if you have twenty naira, you want to meet the need of say twenty five naira. 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 Twenty As to how to meet your need, how about you? Bow up, but then you are not. You, oh, I need help, but bow up, but help us to trust Him in Jesus' name. Allah, no, no, Allah, Allah, take back the lady, or look at Jesus, Amen. The second lesson, a comment that we learn at this junction. It's a book of the Quranic belief. God allow us to suffer hunger or thirst to know who we will look onto in the time of need. Ah, Allah, on fear, ye ba ebi. ati o nbe ki a le ma won ti o go abi ti o ma wo ni gba gbogbo ni akoko ani he always allow us to suffer hunger or test o ma nje ki ebi ko pa wa abi ti o nbe ko gbe wa ni gba miran o any lack ni abi lati se ani kan for him to know who he will look on to in the time of lack ah ki o ba le mo awon ti o ma bojuwo ni akoko ani many christians When they lack something, they follow after Abalis, first uh, prophet 
who will tell them to do unbiblical things to meet that need that when you lack anything as we test you that God has spoken to him that's going to do something that is a bit against the word of God you are, you are being tested if you do it, it will let to end in disaster. See, ni aba wa lo gbe igbese lati lo ba eni ti o so pe ki o se ohun ti o lodi kenkene ti ohun ti Olorun fe eleyi atun so yori si ipomoju nla. Our faith is be tested regularly. Ah, gbodo ma don igbagbo wa wo ni le o re ko e. Most we where we lack food, water or something. Papa ju lo nigbati a o ba ni onje abi omi abi onko miran. God what to know who we trust? Oh, no, 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 no. Not when we have gone to so many people and we are supported in our come back to God. Not when we have gone to so many Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. In your God, do me see your yoke in one day. Nibone and allow me your tiwa and allow me to your wall. You are what you done. Why, only God has the resources to meet our need. Alone, Nikon, you know, in Lulawa, Lati by any wapa day. Only God knows our need. Alone, Nikon, see no my newa. Only God we meet our need without making, without telling us to do something. Or easy. It's never tired of all. It's a compassionate God. It's a loving God. It's a caring God. He loves to meet our needs. So when you lack anything, look up to him. Is ready to supply your need. Your help is coming from God. That king said, When the woman called unto him, Oh, king, help me. That time they were eating the flesh of their children. Because of the famine in the land. As the king was passing by. She cried. Okay. Oh, king, help me. The king told him. If God was helping, I help you. If God was helping, I cannot help you. God help you. I cannot help you. I cannot help you. I I I God any problem look unto him and he will supply your need Philippians chapter 4 Philippi, Oriperin, verses 6 and 7 Philippians 4 6 and 7 Philippi, Oriperin, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with us giving let your request be made known unto god e ma sha ni yon ko un sugbon ninu un gbogbo nipa adura ati ebe pelu idupe e ma fi ibere yin han fun olorun this is the problem of many christians ile yin je soro pelu opolopo christian ni anxiety ani yan we need to lack the ready be anxious se ni ba eni kekere won ti ma sha ni yan but we are being adverse here. Yes, we should be careful for nothing. But in everything, no matter you are lacking, what you are lacking, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let 
Yeah, because we make no auto God. But le wuki ya eni na kio sheri ya bibi unti ongwa lo dolo unbi o sheri ko pato oni ne padra ti ebe pe lui dupe e ma fi be re yin hon fon lo. Many Christians mumble. They do not ask. O po lo po Christian ni onka onko ne onki ibe re. But it says. But we pe. By prayer. Ah, dura wa. Supplication. Oni padra ti ebe. The doors given. Ah, ti dupe. When Jesus. Was lacking what to give to the crowd in the desert. I took the little fishes and and loaves. What did he say? God, I thank you. God, I thank you. That was the beginning of his, of his request. At the tomb of Lazarus. What did he say? He said, my father, I thank you because you always hear me. Just if he first. It is when he has thanked God that he has had him. He just said, Lazarus, Lazarus, come out. He has thanked God for Lazarus that had come out. Do you know that when you call, uh, you, you first told God that, Lord, I know this need have been made. You are supplying my need. You are put God in a corner. You are not 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 God in a corner. I know this, my need, you have supplied it. As I'm going out tonight, I know I'm not going back empty handed. I know that I'm not going back empty handed. I know that I'm not going back empty handed. You are now telling that I trust you. You will not disappoint me. You will not disappoint me. You will not disappoint me. You ask. After you thank God, God will answer you. Don't want to buy a day. Let me want to buy one. You alone hold that alone. Let us develop the habit of always appreciating God when we lack something. Eja ki apo ishe bi ati koko dupe lo wolo ki ato peri ti abashala ni ngoko. Don't because of the pressure of your lack fail to acknowledge or appreciate God for what He has done for you and what He will do for you. Ema je ka ti tori gono ra unkan ti an la ako ja bin ta an fe yi ka wakuna la ti dupe lori yin in toti koko she sa jwa yi ti ti o tun she fun o. What you are lacking today? On ti on shala yi ni lo ni? It soon come to pass. Yo ti yo je on wa fi se yi? Say yes to that. Amen. I know you are lacking something. Mama, you can't shall I name Coco? There is no body. This one is not lacking one thing or the other. Oh, see, I can't even know why. But you could it. You shall I name Kabi or Kechi? No matter how rich you may be, but you will call all of them. You must lack something. Oh, but I shall I name Kaka? What happen your lack today? Oh, come to my idea. I need a loan. God, I believe in supply. Everything for now in Jesus' name. No bad boy, no law. Put your pussy from the boy. No record, no sense. You need to look at Jesus. Amen. Just trust him. You want to take back a lane? Appreciate him. Money, you're right. He will always surprise you. No bad boy, you're mad to see. God will surprise us today in Jesus' name. Oh no, you're Jerry Arale. No, you're alone. No, you look at Jesus. Amen. No, if I say him. No, it's a KJ. Philippians four seven. Philip. That is after we had thank God, uh, we thank Give and we ask what He will give to us. And we believe that He has given it to us. That is why God put it in our hearts. Bible says, "If I say, and the peace of God, we possess all understanding, so keep your heart and minds." Christ Jesus. Alti alafia Allah. Tiyoju imano gubolo. Yo so oka ti ero yini no Christi Jesu. We ana cry unto God. Nengba ti ana kekwe toke kwe Allah. When a life a provoke a. Nengba to rogun re ti o mumbi no. In bitterness of heart. Nino ibanu joko. In tears in his eyes. Nino balu o minjo ni ojure. She went before God. Oh Lord, so I do alone. She called out to God. Okay, to alone. And even though Eli, the priest, provoked her. But like the people, Eli and Lufa gone far, but Otu Mumbi no. She didn't transfer her grace to Eli. Who called him Eli? Rara. She just told him. I can't say fun. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm just telling God what I need 
what I'm lacking. And the, the princess did to you according to your request. The princess see I change. As he was happy, he went, he went back home happily. And Bible says, God remember her. The following year, she had gotten the baby. So, brethren, I don't know your love. I don't know what you're pregnant of now. I don't know the idea you're pregnant of. Just believe. That you are going to give birth to your future in Jesus' name. Amen. What you have not, what you have been expecting, and you have not received, in due course, you are getting it. You are coming back with testimony in Jesus' name. Anna came back with the baby. About maybe two years after. When she had weighed uh, Samuel. Uh, Samuel. Uh, Samuel. 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 Is it position? Yeah. Is it job? God is giving to you. And you are coming to give testimony in Jesus' name. And say you give testimony in Jesus' name. Trust in God. The thought lesson. God knows our need before they arise and makes provision for them. God knows our need. Before we knew our need, God knows them. Before the need arises, God knows that they are there for us. So God knows our needs before they arise. And makes provisions for them. Before you come to him, he has made provision for your need. You are only telling that daddy, I need to see. Give it to you. When Jesus was teaching people on danger of anxiety, he was teaching them on anxiety. And they were saying, How if it is, it summarizes in Matthew chapter 6. Verses 31 to 33. Matthew 6, 31 to 33. Therefore, take no thought, say, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or where are we go? Shall we clothe? Take no thought, say, what we Anxiety paralyzes our faith. Uh, he says we should not think on what we shall eat, what we shall drink, or what we shall put on. For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. Uh, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. He now says, uh, he now says uh, For your heavenly Father, Moed, that he have need of all these things. God knows our need. But there's something demand from us. First at three. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness 
and all these things shall be added unto you. That is for seek your salvation. Seek for the welfare of the kingdom of God. When some people come to the church, when this prayer, yes, they are there. If they are in the church, and somebody is giving them the word of God that can open their eyes to know how to pray and what to pray for. They are not they are not comfortable again. They have told God to eat a machine. They just want to pass to the church. God, God, I need this, I need this, and I give to me now. So that they get that they, they jump out. But God is not like that. He wants to seek, see that you are saved first. He wants to see that you are saved first. That you are saved. You want to know that if he has given you what you need, you not abuse it. Remember Solomon. So he, he, he wants you to sit down, hear the word, and the key you are going to use when you will meet your name. Jesus says, When you have sought the kingdom of God first and his righteousness, he now says, All these things, not some, all these things shall be added unto you. In Romans 832. Romans 832. Bible says, He that does not spare his own son and are giving him to us, how much more will he give us everything Freely. Bible says, we are Christ. If you are to be saved, you are complete Christ. Whatever you are lacking, it is to give to you. If it is a lack, to God is not glad to give you your want. But your need is supplied. But you must be sure that you are saved and you are on the right track with God. Therefore, let us learn these lessons and apply them. In your daily activities. God who has met your need in the past, we meet your need today and tomorrow. If you are saved and 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 you are saved you are saved you are saved you are I come before you today. I've had your word. I trust you. I believe you. I know you are to supply my need. Therefore today, supply my need. If you know what you need, speak to God. Let's say your name. I need money. I need job. I need admission. I, need, I want my business to expand. Just tell me what you need. I will supply you. I want healing. I will give it to you. I want peace. I want joy. I will give it to you. I want customers. I will give it to you. So just ask him now. Father, I need this thing. Yes, I mean. I know you are just Ask him if he will answer you. 
Dalumbre unto the Lord. God bless your Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, we thank you for this message. Open our eyes, O Lord, to see what you reserve for us around us. Teach us, O Lord, to always come before you with genuine requests and appreciate what you are doing for us without memory. Father, help us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever we are lacking, whatever that we need to do, that our heart is planted, our heart is seeking. Father, you know, more than we know, meet all our needs in Jesus' name. Amen. My Father, my God, if the evil people in the world, as you told us, it looks at a level, if the evil men knows how to give what is good to their children, how much more you carry nothing and good God, I pray every lack today, meet it in Jesus' name. Amen. Even the lack of children, youth, adult, may not feel me. Meet all our lack in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, Lord, as we are meeting our need, people will see your glory in our life and we give you honor on our behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. Everywhere we go from today, people will see your glory in us and we praise you on our behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. As for I pray, Spirit of anxiety will not trouble us again in Jesus' name. Amen. But we shall continue believing in you and we promise and set out of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you because of us, I pray. Thank you, Lord. I pray, Lord, any strategy of enemy to grant our faith, to make us to think that you do not care for us again. I destroy the strategy in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray. Everybody standing before you today, we come back with testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you because of us, I pray. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give you thy name. I in hear Jesus. But in name I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name.